On the island of Sodor, high up in the mountains was a mysterious boulder. It had stood alone for a long time, but one morning workmen arrived to build a quarry on the land below. Sir Handel, the little blue engine, met Duck and Oliver. Where is all this rock coming from? Oliver asked. The new quarry, replied Sir Handel. This mountain rock is good for many things, although it's dangerous up there. Why? asked Duck. Because of that big boulder. I think it's watching me, said Sir Handel nervously. How can it be? Boulders don't have eyes. Well, Oliver, but there is something strange about this one. Just then, Henry arrived. He was delivering a new piece of machinery for the quarry. What's that? asked Sir Handel. It's called Thumber. Apparently, it helps collect the rock faster, replied Henry. Soon, Thumber was working hard. The men were pleased, but no one bothered to check the boulder. When it rained, the workmen went away. Sir Handel gazed up and shivered. Above stood Boulder. Suddenly, a large slab of rock landed on the rails. Sir Handel was shocked. Driver was concerned. We must leave till the weather is better. The rain loosens some of this rock. I think it's Boulder wanting us to go away. The next day, the sun shone. Thumber was working harder than ever. Suddenly, Sir Handel noticed something. Boulders moving! Don't be so daft. It can't," said the driver. "But it could." It's rolling along our line. We'll stop here until Boulder passes by," said the driver. But Boulder was nowhere to be seen. Then, oh no! It's behind us. Just ahead, they saw a small junction. One line went uphill. Boulder Thunder passed. Meanwhile, Peter Sam was making his way up to the quarry. Then he saw Boulder. Help! Boulder was catching up fast. We must warn the yards," shouted Peter Sam. "Yes, but how?" called Sir Handel. Boulder rounded the bend, and there ahead was Renee's. "It's running loose!" yelled Renee's. His driver drove him back as fast as he could. "Hurry!" Better smashed than a squash," said his driver. At the yards, Oliver was collecting freight cars. Then he heard Boulder. "Oh no! It's heading straight for me!" squeaked Oliver. When Sir Topin Hat inspected the damage, he decided to close the mine. Then he looked at Boulder. We should have left this part of the island alone. They moved Boulder to a hill close by the yards. Sir Handel was sure that on a clear night it was gazing up at the mountain and that its eyes are being carried on the wind to where it once used to stand, proud and silent. I wonder if Sir Handel was right. Don't you? 